when it comes to the best movie car ever. <laughs> Drop everything, Venkman. We got one. Yeah! The Ghostbusters Acto one needs no introduction, so let's get right into the facts. The Acto one is a 1959 Cadillac Miller Meteor Ambulance hearse. There were only a couple hundred Miller Meteors ever built, making it super rare even back in 1984. This car isn't a boat, it's a ship stretching 21 feet long, 8 feet high, 7 feet wide, and weighing almost 3.5 tons. It has a 320 horsepower 6.3 liter V8 under the hood, but even with that much power, driving it was still very slow and difficult. Dan Aykroyd originally imagined imagined Acto-1 darker and more sinister looking, like an all-black hearse with purple and green lights and accents. However, since so many scenes were shot at night, they went with the white and red color scheme. At first, Aykroyd almost used the 1975 Cadillac Ambulance, but stuck with the 59. However, its look eventually inspired the Acto-1 used in the 2016 reboot when they used an 84 Cadillac Fleetwood hearse with a similar look. Two Cadillac Miller Meteors were purchased for the first Ghostbusters movie. The first car was the black version, used for the prototype phase of Acto-1 in its introductory scenes. The second car was used as the main Acto-1 throughout all of Ghostbusters and the beginning of Ghostbusters 2. The scenes that show Acto-1 backfiring and billowing smoke in the beginning of Ghostbusters 2 were not special effects. The car was on its deathbed, and actually died while filming on the Brooklyn Bridge, which caused a huge traffic jam and the NYPD heavily fined production. The first black Cadillac was quickly converted for the remainder of the filming, and is now referred to as Acto-1A. The Acto-1 was designed designed by Stephen Dane. Director Ivan Reitman came to Steven two weeks before the start of shooting and needed the designs for literally everything in the movie, from the Ecto-1 to all of the gadgets like the proton packs, the ghost traps, the PKE meter, slime scooper, slime blower, and more. In two weeks! Incredibly, in two weeks, Steven Dane successfully designed all of the iconic pieces of the Ghostbusters movie. To thank him for his masterpieces, they poorly credited him by spelling his name wrong, S-T-E-V-E-N, and not even crediting him as the designer, but as a hard Hardware consultant, more like hardware insultant. After the movies, Ecto-1 sat to rot for decades. When a Ghostbusters video game was being created, they wanted to fully restore Ecto-1 and use it for promotional tours. Cinema Vehicle Services in Hollywood was hired to tackle the project of restoring this car. It was extremely challenging from finding the correct parts to this ultra-rare car to replicating the hundreds of movie props both on top and inside. Upon completion, they revealed it to Dan Aykroyd himself, who was stunned at the impeccable restoration and even took it for a joyride. Sony now owns the screen used cars and the beat up Acto 1 from the 2021 movie is at the Peterson Museum. Volo Museums is a screen used movie car that was converted to an exhibition Acto 1 and that came directly from the transportation department. Thank you so much for watching this movie car series. Please follow Volo Museum because I got a lot more coming for you.